All right, next up we got Pace versus Past. Uh, Pace from Indy gonna be starting off with Trainer, just trademark character. Uh, very good with this character, specifically uh, his Ivysaur. Uh, played it personally, it's really, really good. And then Past is coming after that match with Wood, which ne didn't necessarily like go that well, but you know, it's one of those things where like maybe you can kind of like, you know, just kind of analyze that, and figure out, you know, figure out what went wrong in your play, possibly. In your, That's from also like. That character matchup is obviously the main discomfort that he was having, and like you said, they travel together here. So these two, I'm sure, are quite familiar with each other. Right. I think right there, I saw him try to go for the uh, jab to down tilt like infinite, but I think he might have been facing infinite. I'm not sure if it works. I'm not actually sure about like the how it works, but it looked really, really good on Twitter. I just haven't seen it in, in tournament like yet. Oh, you, I, you know what I'm talking about? I I'm not aware of that tech. Yeah, there's a way you can uh, loop. Uh, detailed in the jab one. Either way, Pass is doing a really good job of just controlling the neutral with the gyro. Kind of like walling Squirtle out. Squirtle has like a lot of really crazy combos, but he's just he's really keeping his distance. So the switch to Ivysaur makes a lot of sense. Oh, you would think the Razor there. Leaf probably contests all of it, of the other projectiles from Rob pretty pretty handedly. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Ivy has like the range to like really combat this character, especially from either above or below. Uh, so Pat's gonna have to like really just keep his projectile wall going, because these situations right there, oh. for, like up close razor leaf, it's death. You literally die. Yeah, that is such a brutal confirm. Pokemon trainer advantage state in general is just really, really oppressive. Really good. And here we are again, back into Pokemon trainer advantage. Ooh, another up air. Okay, great. Uh, I saw Pace wait for the air dodge there. I think he was looking for like a mind whip opportunity, but uh, didn't necessarily want to commit to it. And yeah. honestly, his his percent's pretty low, so it wouldn't have killed. It might kill like nowish. Maybe. Vine Whip will kill us early? Oh, Vine Whip kills very early. What? I, if I get Vine Whip to 30 and die, I'm not even surprised about it. Like, <laughs> it shouldn't happen, but I just, I never know anymore. I am a little surprised uh, Bullet Seed was one of the moves that they made, like, hit more consistently. It has, like, an insane vacuum effect. And Rob has such a large model, I would think that you could very often <laughs> get a huge uh, damage off of Bullet Seed. Ooh. Smart stuff by Pace, just uh, by Pass. Just honestly, just gonna like respect that society was coming. Like you know, because Charizard, he's gonna just do it. He, he's gonna just go for it. So it is. Uh, you see it shockingly often. <laughs> you, you do. You really the do. flare blitz. Because this thing, if it works, you know, you kill somebody at 50. You're punished, and it, honestly, if you bounce off the stage appropriately, you might not even get punished for it because you go so far uh, to off the ledge. I'm surprised to see Pace sticking on the Squirtle for this amount of time. Once Rob is at this percentage, it's not like Squirrel, you know, offers too, too much. Yeah, I would agree. But now, uh, almost as if he heard you, he <laughs> flips <laughs> over to Ivysaur right on command. Looking for that Razor Leaf confirmed. Oh, not quite going to get it this time. Pass slowly oh. inching this back. That looks like an uh, accidental forward tilt on the platform, and Pace getting punished for it. Yeah, it's, oh, it's Razor Leaf just clanks the gyro. That's crazy. And then another up air. Nice. Ready's going to jump. Great DI by Pace again. He's two for two on those. Yeah. He's very good about holding super far out. And then and there's that Razor Leaf. Yeah. So that's, a, that's the scary thing about this character. Like, Razor Leaf from a distance is like a really annoying zoning tool. And then from up close, where you would try to punish it, if you fail, you die. Yeah. But Pass answers back. It's another down throw, another up air. And uh, Pace at high enough percent that even with good DI, not able to survive. Ooh, and nice. there's that Squirtle combo. Yeah, 40% right off the bat. And honestly, he would have pushed it further if uh, he had another jump, but you know, kind of had to burn it all. He was he was holding out, which was really smart. Oh, nice. I didn't know that Rob had low percent up air com or up throw combos. Oh yeah. A lot of precision from Rob. Smart stuff. He used the gyro to slow down the momentum on the withdrawal, and then he got a pre punish for it. A lot of people don't like to challenge that move just because like it has like the invincibility that it has. Mm -hmm. But I guess I think they played enough to for him to just know. Yeah, I know you're also a snake player, but for snake, the withdrawal is uh, no problem. <laughs> oh, no, not a problem, yeah. <laughs> Just chuck out the grenade, watch him hit himself, and then you get your free grenade combo. Nice and easy. <laughs> right. Now, this is where things are going to get dicey. Past has to fully respect that Razor Leaf. He's right. already killed him his first two stocks. Uh, he's in the percents where everything is going to start comboing again. Ooh. Oh, actually, no, Bullet Seed does not get punished. He's a little bit late on the on the draw right there. Unfortunately, Rob not with <laughs> an excellent run speed, so... Unable to close the distance. Ooh, he's looking for stuff. He's, it's, it's so scary to have him in, in this range. Oh, no. He actually jumped up a little higher than he was expected, and up air can catch. Are we going to get a punish from? Okay. Had enough time to shield. That's one scary thing about this game. There's so many characters that have moves that are, like, you no know, good oh. and can kill, but they're also very safe. So even in that situation where, like, oh, he's charging up smash and he's going to whiff it, I should run in, he died for trying to challenge it. I don't know if it's uh, just pace, you know, a little too aggressive with the Razor Leafs, but he's 
spacing it so that when it, it hits shield, the past is able to get these grabs before uh, he's able. Pace is able to back off again. So, yeah. pass is also getting like a lot out of his grabs too. You see right. him optimizing it. You see him even like reading where they're gonna pop out. And, like, it, it looks like he's doing a really good job of like measuring the percent windows for what he needs to be doing. Yeah, definitely one of those things that fast has uh, got the the grind out. I wonder if he's one of those uh, the Arduino users. You know what he might be. I kind of want to get one of those honestly, just to just to invest and test himself out. All right, but, Inter but, uh, interesting start. We draw across the stage and then hit the waterfall. Oh no, gyro ready there. Okay. Down tilt. Oh, he opts to. Okay, I like that. He tried to force him off stage. That back air would have mm. put him in a really rough spot to recover from. But right. Pace is aware. Now he's got the chase down. No air dodge on him. What's he gonna do about it? And you can see, past is like. That's his, the recoveries that he was going for against Wood, except for Wood was just jumping straight out there after him and getting those big punishes. Yeah. It's just the, the Rob MO, you know, to recover in that manner. He's not used to it being contested. And Pace is being oddly respectful of it. I don't necessarily know if I, if I would agree with going back to the stage, just because, like, Ivysaur can ladder you so well on these platforms. And this is also PS1, not PS2 specifically. So, like, in moments like that, you can't really, like, Rob, Rob wants to hang out high. He wants to land with his Nair and his Spare and, you know, is it like create pressure from above. I think these guys might be just too used to the Smash and Splash rule set that people have been running in Ohio. I'm pretty sure it's PS2 for this event, but... Oh. You know what? Actually, <laughs> and I think in the state that they're from, they play PS1, not PS2. So they probably just gentlemen to it, just like as a comfort pick for both of them. Right. Ooh, nice. Back gonna come in so uh, Indy, I guess Indy also running the Smash and Splash for a while now or something like that. Yeah. Well, probably a modified version, but... Oh, passed way off the mark with that down air. Oh, nice parry. parry. Oh, yeah. And gets the, the follow-up up tilts. Unable to get the full, like, Mario ladder, but... Still, nice damage. Well, oh, I'm... that was cool. He, he absorbed the laser with the Witch Roll away. One thing I'm noticing is that Pace is doing a really, really good job of, like, forcing Pass to, like, burn his air dodges out, but... <laughs> Pass is so good about recovering from like odd angles, it, it doesn't necessarily like matter. So that's something to learn about this character. Like, yeah, you you, you know you can force him to air dodge, but what do you get out of it if he's like coming from wherever he's coming from? Ooh, a risky withdrawal, but only eats one there. Oh, I think ledge trap situation. Wow, a lot of respect from Past. Starting to see a lot of micro spacing come out too. He'll like run up and like dash back just to like set up another trap, and then uh, Pace is kind of just like walking right into it. Again, forcing him off, and the laser snipe is going to put him in a horrible situation. I thought that was going to kill, honestly. Actually, a lot of well too. Oh, nice. See, Caught the roll. Great coverage. He attempted to two frame with the dare, and then as soon as he rolled on, got that up smash. Because again, there's so little lag in this game, like universally. Yeah, that is definitely a well executed ledge trap out of past. And again, sitting on the squirtle when he comes back from the stock, I'm kind of confused by it still. I almost want to say maybe just like stick to Ivysaur only because like as soon as you get to this exact percent window, there's so much that just outright kills Rob, who's a pretty heavy character. Right. Oh, I think that was the strong Razor Leaf it would have hit. Unfortunate, but Pace still with a shot here. There's the confirm. And not quite gonna KO this early though. Yeah, he's Pace is doing such a good job of just anti-airing. Pass is just forced to keep playing this distance and just throwing projectiles out. Unable to get the similar ledge trap. Pass rolls back up onto the stage. Right. Right, now we're starting to see some really, really good ledge traps from the past. All right, he recognized that was smart to change right there, recognizing that the gyro was going to interrupt the fine whip. Is up there going to hit platform? Oh, it's One not. platform. Yeah. Almost yeah. good. Back throw was a big maybe, too. It's kind of a weird It's kind of a weird guess you have to make right there. <laughs> the flare blitz again. This time it will be punished with another side B. And pass takes a 2-0 over pace. And kind of the expected outcome, right? They play together a lot. Pass is the higher ranked player, so, you know. Right. And it's probably a little bit discouraging, too, because, like, the end of the, that first match was, like, so, so close. And then it definitely seemed like Pass was able to just, like, figure everything out for game two. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff.